is mommy for mommy's channel and we're going to take about uh, take up about sketching the periodic table we have to locate the elements that belongs to metals metalloids and non-metals so class if this is the periodic table so you can refer to the periodic table and this is the sketch so the elements that are written here all the elements from left up to here and you can see there is a ladder uh, shape or a line forming a ladder in this point at this point so mauni sila ang mga metalloids so elements that are considered metalloids have properties that are partial metallic gamay nga pagka metallic o nga po sila pagka non metallic na sila tunga tunga sa metals o non metals so they exhibit properties like metals and they also exhibit properties like non-metals. So, all of these elements here, up to here, are the metals. Ang pinaka-metal class is kaning ni Adin he sa first line. So, nag-anam-anam na siya pagka gamay ang yung metallic properties. Ang to niyabot siya din yung point, kining ang mga elements are metalloids they are semi metals it works like semi metals then after the line that forms like a ladder alita dire pulos na ni mga non metals in fact this line here is where you can find the noble gases it works like noble gases So, mga gas ni sila din he. So, kung atong tanawin ang periodic table, nana sila legend. So, I, I will insert a video here about uh, how to read and how to understand the informations given in the periodic tables. Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about periodic table of elements. The periodic table of elements is a tabular display of the chemical elements. It is arranged by atomic number, electron configuration, and recurring chemical properties. It was in 1869 that a Russian chemist, Dmitry Mendeleev, published the first recognizable periodic table. In this video, we will be familiarizing the periodic table of elements. Generally, every cell in the periodic table contains the information of an element. These are its symbol, atomic number, name of the element, atomic mass, and many more depending on the periodic table that you are using. Elements are arranged in periods and groups. There are seven rows of the table which are called periods and 18 columns are called groups or families. Each group contains elements with similar properties. Groups are divided into A and B. Its trivial names are Group 1A is called alkali metals which are very reactive and electropositive. Group 2A is called alkali earth metals which are all shiny and silvery white in appearance and somewhat reactive metals at standard temperature and pressure. Group 3A is called trails, which are characterized by having three valence electrons. Group, group 7A is called halogens, which comes from Greek word meaning salt producing. Group 8A is called noble gases, which refers to the inert gases and they are very stable that makes them extremely non-reactive. For groups B, they are called transition metals from group 1B. Copper group, 2B zinc group, 3B scandium group, 
4B Titanium Group, 5B Vanadium Group, 6B Chromium Group, 7B Manganese Group, and 8B composed of Iron Group, Cobalt Group, and Nickel Group. There are also elements which are separated but still are included in group 3B. These are called lanthanide series located in period 6 and actinide series located in period 7. According to their shared physical and chemical properties, the elements can be classified into major categories of metals, metalloids and nonmetals. The elements boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium, and polonium are called metalloids. Elements above the line formed by metalloids are nonmetals, including hydrogen. And lastly, the rest are all metals. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.